Hi guys, Vex here. Welcome back to some more Mindcrack. Okay, on today's episode, I'm finally getting around to going fishing. And before I do anything else, let me mention that Paul actually did leave me a chest. It was uh, on the far end of my base where the exit is, and that had all the uh, seeds and jack-o'-lanterns that he had picked up. So that was pretty cool of him. I really do appreciate that. All right, anyway, let's move this along. I am going to enchant a fishing rod and go fishing. So I've got... Uh, a bunch of skeletons saved up here. I should have enough for a level 30. Actually, I'm pretty sure I have more than a level 30, but here we go. We have a splash potion. I'm going to switch to this looting sword to get the most drops as the splash potion is in midair. And here we go. Bam. Got it. All right. Wow, look at all that stuff shooting out. Okay, let's go enchant our fishing pole. Hopefully we can get it at level 30. Uh, I'm going to need to pick up some string here. Uh, one, two. And I'm going to need some steaks. Are there steaks in here? Yeah, but I'm going to need more steaks than that. Dang it. XP, get out of my face. I'm trying to trying to do stuff here. I'm trying to work. I've got some, some work to do. All right. There we go. No. There we go. Fishing rod. And then finally we stick an enchantment on it. Boom. Okay, cool. Uh, that's an alright enchantment. I suppose I should make a second fishing rod, just because, well, why not? Uh, they seem to be fairly disposable, and, let's see, there's three, there's three loot groups of possible drops you can get from fishing. There's fish, treasure, and junk. Uh, luck of the sea reduces the chances of getting the junk. Uh, Junk is going to be bowls, fishing rods that are not enchanted, leather, leather boots, rotten flesh, sticks, string, water bottles, bones, ink sacks, and tripwire hooks. That's the junk uh, category of loot. None of that I really want. The treasure is bows, enchanted books, fishing rods, name tags, saddles, and lily pads. All that's great. Uh, honestly, the treasure is what I'm really after, I think, for fishing. Is there any XP left up here? Yeah, there is. And there's also some skeletons left. Let me go ahead and process these. Uh, let me grab one of these swords and just boop them down. Okay, let me process this real quick. Okay, so I got a level 28 out of there. Uh, stuck a torch on the wall. Level 28, boom, there we go. Lure and Unbreaking 3. Uh, well, lure reduces the wait time uh, for a fish to bite or for a bite event to happen. It's not necessarily a fish, obviously. It can be treasure or junk. Uh, so having both of these on the same uh, rod would be very nice. How much is this to combine? You know, that honestly, that's too expensive for something that is not going to last that long. Uh, I'm gonna, I think I might consider fishing rods mostly disposable, really. Uh, they, they really are. Uh, they're only 64 uses uh, by default. I think unbreaking three might extend that out depending on it's based on luck but maybe 180 uses uh so i think you'd probably be it'd be probably be just faster to make fresh level 30 enchants on these things and just use them up all right anyway uh, i think i can go ahead and fish in this water here i don't believe i need to actually go outside although maybe i should go outside just for uh, just to, you know, get out. But I want to try it here. So let's just fish uh, this way and see see if this is deep enough. I'm honestly not sure it is, but I guess we'll find out. Now, I think this should be okay as long as the fishing bobber does not impact solid blocks. It, it should be okay. Uh, catching a fish is one use. Hitting a solid block is two and then uh, tugging an entity towards you is three uses on a fishing rod. So we should see, uh, I think we're supposed to see like a swirling, like little whirlpool effect in the water. And I'm looking for it. I do see the water splashing up. That's interesting. But I think we're supposed to see like the the whirlpool 
little water swirls approach the fishing bobber and then it gets jerked down and then we right click at that moment. Uh, now it can, it can be anywhere from 5 to 45 seconds. So that could be quite some time. Wait a minute, I think I see something. I see something. Ooh, I saw it! I saw the little whirlpool, uh, little s swirls. Okay, I caught a raw fish. Alright, that took, uh, that actually took a little while. Um, can I fish on this side? Uh, does that, uh-oh. Is that, uh, I don't think that's working correctly. Let me, there, I think, well, you know, I don't, I, it's not taking durability from that. I, I think I need to go this way. <clears throat> Let's go this way with it and make sure it, yeah, I think, I think that works better. Uh, you know, this, you know, I think what I should do is make myself a little fishing pool. I, you know, that's a new project I can do. I can make a, uh, a fishing pool for myself and, and decorate it and make it cool looking. Maybe I can put it, uh, you know what I could do? I could put it by my skeleton grinder so that I can fish while waiting on, on the, the skeletons. Or I could put it by uh, the natural spawn grinder and the chickens. Oh, wait a minute. I think I see something. Ooh, I got a... <gasps> yes! Oh, that's awesome! An unbreak unbreaking is really hard to get on bows. That's a rare enchantment for a bow. Oh, that's amazing. <laughs> I'm lucky. Lucky, lucky, lucky. Okay, but yeah, I, this is this is cool. I like this. Uh, I, I enjoy this. I think I'm gonna. I'm definitely gonna make a fishing pool for myself somewhere. I might make more than one. I mean, they're not gonna be. They don't need to be that large. Just a lane mostly, and then some decorations. And I can put them, put them in spots where I might normally AFK, and it'll give me something to do, like a little mini, kind of like a little mini game to play. Uh, while I wait. Okay, so I definitely saw. It, it's basically a bunch of bubbles under the water. There it is. It's on the right side. You see it coming? It's coming. Boom. There it goes. It's a, it was a bunch of bubbles. I saw it. I saw it really clearly there. Uh, yeah. Okay. So that's... Uh, that, once. Now that I know exactly what I'm looking for, it, that's pretty easy to spot. Now my cast is like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7... Eight, nine. That looks like almost ten blocks, and it skids a little when it hits when it hits the water. Now this has not actually taken any durability damage yet, uh, and I actually managed to catch that without luck of the sea. So that's actually pretty cool. Uh, the two uh, th there's a there's a few things that I, I'd really like to get out of fishing. Uh, one is lily pads. I want uh, lily pads, name tags. And, honestly, unbreaking three bows would be amazing. Because unbreaking three... Unbreaking three bows and unbreaking three books. Because uh, you can put the unbreaking three on swords as well. Oh, there's another fish. Uh, but, yes. Uh, unbreaking three on a book or a bow. This is amazing. Th this is really va valuable. This is worth many, multiple diamonds, many diamonds, for an unbreaking three on a bow. That's worth a lot. That's rare. That's an that's an amazing find. It really is. Uh, but the the books, uh, specifically unbreaking books, because the unbreaking on a book is also rare. The chance of getting it from like a level thirty enchantment on a book is around one percent, I believe. One or two. It's like it's like one or two percent. It's rare. Like, imagine doing even if it's two percent. That's like one in fifty. Can you imagine sitting there? Grinding up to level 30, and then enchanting 50 books just to get one level, uh, one Unbreaking 3 book. It's ridiculous. Uh, oh, here comes the fish. I caught nothing? I don't believe I missed time to that. Oh well. That's unfortunate. Um, now I have no idea what time it is, but... 
I guess it doesn't really matter. I'm catching cave fish. Which kind of is, is weird when you think about it. Like, how did that bow get in there? Did I drop it somehow? Because obviously... Wait. Wait. Huh. I got a salmon. Sweet. That was fast. I'm using the lure. I'm using the lure bow so that the uh, time is reduced between between casts. And this is yet to take any durability damage. Maybe I should go check the. Wait a minute. Was that the thing? There it is. It's right there. Here it comes. Dun 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 dun. dun. Oh, what did I get that time? Another salmon. Sweet. Uh, I'm happy with a fish. I mean, I could use it to breed cats, maybe. Uh, I mean, why not? Now, I had an idea I approached Dinnerbone about a, a while ago, which was actually a fish trap, like a passive way to farm fish that you stick it in the water and you check it every now and then, and it might have a fish in it, and you make it out of sticks and string, and then, you know, after catching X amount of fish, it, uh, it either stops working. Oh, nope. Nothing that time. You know, maybe it could run out of durability, or maybe you put bait in it. Like, it has, it's a, you, that was fast. But you, uh, you know how a furnace has two slots in it, and the brewing stands have slots and stuff? It's a, it's a entity like that, and you'd make it out of sticks and string, and then my idea was that you, you put it in a water block, and it, it's an entity that like sits inside the water block, and it's a it's a, it's a like a fish fish trap. It looks like a bunch of nets, kind of maybe like a box of nets. Um, and when you right click on it, there's a slot for it had like it, it would have like an inventory for what it's called, and then it would have a slot for bait. And you would bait it with you could use various stuff like I was thinking seeds. You'd bait it with seeds. Um, so that way you would farm your wheat and get to take the extra seeds and then stick them in the fish trap and it would farm, it would passively just farm fish for you. And sometimes you, the bait might, would be used and maybe you wouldn't catch a fish and the bait would just uh, be wasted. And then other times you would catch a fish. Uh, but it would basically, it would be kind of like a, a furnace, slowly uses fuel as, as it goes. The fish trap would slowly uh, use the, the fish bait that you put in it. Uh, much, much slower than a furnace burns through its coal, but the same kind of process. Ooh, I got a uh, got a puffer, puffer fish. Cool. And so you could have maybe several of them in a pond or a river or whatever, and maybe they they would produce different effects. Oh, no fish there. There must be just a chance to not catch something sometimes. But uh, you know. The idea was to, to go to different biomes, uh, and in different biomes you would catch different stuff, and that, that gave you a reason to go out hunting and go on trips to different areas. I thought that was kind of cool. Uh, oh, there's a fish. There's a fish. Nothing. I wonder if I'm, if, if I'm, I don't, I'm very sure I'm not mistiming it. I think I, it's running into the, there might be a problem with how close it is to the wall back there. Or something like that. Let's see. I don't know. This room is not really the... I don't think this is the best area to try fishing in. It's kind of awkward. So I'll definitely want to build something later. But yeah, so that was my idea for the fish trap. And I thought it was kind of cool. Uh, it was basically a passive way to farm fish. Because honest, honestly, before this update, fishing was kind of a chore, and it was really boring, because it was nothing, you know, there was really nothing to it, and I, I don't know of anybody uh, that actually used fish as a main source of food. Did I get that? Yes, I did. Uh, I mean, I don't think anybody used fish as a main source of food, unless maybe you were role-playing, because it was very inefficient, you know, for time invest, as, you know, for time investment, and fish isn't even... You know, uh, for how much time it takes to actually get some fish caught, they're not even the best food as far as fill or saturation. Uh, oh, wow. I'm a, I'm a fishing machine today. I'm going to put Paul Soros Jr. to shame. 
Uh, although this is really relaxing, actually. I like this. I like the chance now. I do really like this fishing system already. The, the rare drops from it make it really interesting. It's a Skinner box technique. You know, I'm not even going to try to deny that. It's, it's a, they're using, Mojang is doing a Skinner box here. But it uh, they work. You know, Skinner box techniques uh, work in games. Uh, it's like, it's basically, they're, it's like gambling. Um, but if you want to know more about uh, Skinner box in video games, uh, I'll put a link to the episode of Extra Credits that talks about that. I think you should check it out. I highly recommend them. I really like them a lot. Uh, <clears throat> so, yeah. Uh, so, what was I talking about? Oh, yeah. The, all right. The fish trap. Uh, but another idea, another thing I bugged him about recently was, well, not recently. It was, uh, look at that. I got a saddle. Wow, this is going great. This is my lucky, maybe this is my lucky spot. Who knows? But I, I had an idea for uh, food, hybrid food that uses both uh, vegetables and meat. The idea there is that once you have a certain type of food already being farmed up easily, you have little, very little motivation as a player to try and get additional types of food. Like me right now, why do I need any other type of food? beyond chicken. I have like a passive automatic chicken farm that makes tons of chicken now. Why should I bother making any other food except for maybe role play purposes? There there is none. Uh, and chicken, while not the best, is still pretty good and it definitely gets the job done. Here comes a fish. That's a salmon. All right. Uh, so like what motivation could a player have to get uh, a more complex type of food. Like, what would be the motivation? There's only... Uh, oh, nice. I'm breaking three fishing rod. That's cool. There's only really one that I can think of, and that's uh, combat. Heavy combat, where you would want saturation for your hunger bar. I'm assuming my viewers know how the hunger bar and saturation works. If you don't, go read about the mechanics on the wiki, then come back to this video. All right, cool. You know how it works? Awesome. The motivation would be to have a very, very high saturation that maxes you out by just one eating one thing. So that way you can get in combat and not have to worry about losing those first one or two drumsticks that stop your health regen. Basically, you could go through a combat scenario and stay topped off the entire time by eating some sort of superfood with tons of saturation. Now, uh, that's the one thing I can think of. Well, there, there's another thing. Uh, the other thing would be the food provides some sort of buff, like a potion, you know? Uh, but that would, I, you know, like, what's it gonna provide? Maybe, I don't know, haste? But that, that kind of steps on the toes of the potion system and brewing as a whole. So I thought they should kind of avoid that. And just stick with the food being, you know, uh, food. Just let the food be, you know, food, plain old food. Uh, so I was thinking that some ideas would be fish and chips, you know, fish and potatoes together. Uh, but really, the one, the one that I first approached Dinnerbone about, it was this is months and months ago. Uh, that took a while. It was a uh, beef stew. Now he had heard of the idea of the idea for a hamburger before, which is bread and beef. Uh, I said the uh, the beef stew recipe is going to be a bowl, beef, uh, carrot, and potato. So you have to get wood for the the bowl. You got to get wheat to breed the cows to get that beef coming in, and you got to have the potatoes and the veg and, and the carrots. So it, it rewards the player by once you have all the your farming plants and your farming animals and you got your tree farm going on, it's rewarding the player for having all those things by giving them access to a really high saturation food. And you know you'd eat one of them and it would just max your saturation out. Um, and obviously for for day to day activities, I would still just use 
you know, this super easy to get chicken. But if I was going into a dungeon area or an abandoned mine shaft or something, and I knew I was going to be in combat, and I wanted my hunger to stay topped off for the whole thing, or if I was going to get in some PvP, I would want to eat that beef stew and get that really high saturation in. That would max it out and have it stay maxed while my health is regenerating. Uh, so yeah, that's that's what I wanted to do. Uh, that's that's what I suggested, and I think he he enjoyed the idea. He liked the idea. Uh, so it might be something that we get in the future, but uh, they have no plans to have it in the 1.7 update. Uh, but I, I do know that Mojang is they they are aware that players need like more motivation to go to different biomes for stuff. So don't be surprised if you see uh, more of that in the future. Uh, maybe like biome specific. Like they're, they're already trying to do it with the flowers, but the biome specific flowers for decoration. Uh, but yeah, so definitely, I, I definitely expect from what I've heard uh, is you know more of that kind of stuff in the future. Okay. Ah, uh, well, I think I think any more of this. Any more of this fishing would be redundant, because, I mean, honestly, once you've seen me do this a few times, you've seen it every time. It's just, it's the same kind of, it's basically the same thing. Uh, although, although now the main difference is that we have a visual indicator. we got those bubbles coming in, so that we know when the thing is about to bob. That actually does, that actually makes the fishing easier, and I, I like that. Before, it was just kind of, you sat there and stared at it, and you had no idea. Um, so, alright, what's today's haul? Eight fish... And a breaking three bow, uh, five raw salmon, two puffer fish, a saddle, and an unbreaking three fishing rod. That seems amazing to me. I mean, that's, uh, what, uh, eight, oh, nine, ten, fifteen, seventeen, uh, eighteen, yeah, eighteen, eighteen items. And out of those 18 items that I recovered from my fishing attempts, um, let's see, well, 15 of them were fish, and the most of the fish being, well, plain fish and salmon. Uh, we do have some puffer fish. I didn't get any clownfish today, but I got a saddle and an unbreaking three bow. I think that's pretty amazing. Now, this is not a very good sample size. Uh, I should probably fish, you know, a, th a, thousand, uh, a thousand attempts at fishing would be much better at you know, figuring out the chances of stuff. Uh, but, or honestly, 10,000. 10,000 would be much better. Because even at 1,000, if something has like a 1% chance, only 1,000 is going to, you're going to see some fluctuation in the percents there. Um, <clears throat> anyway, I think that's that's it for today. I tried out the fishing. There's only one thing left for me to do, and that is to uh, cook some of this fish. And I'm going to try nomming on it and see how it tastes. And this puffer fish is for making, oh, oh, this puffer fish is used to make, wait, I thought I had, am I completely out of these? I am completely out, aren't I? Well, that's okay. The puffer fish is used to make water breathing potions, which is kind of neat. And I'm really surprised that that did not get me an achievement. Do I already have that? Where's the achievements? Here's the achievements. Um, oh. Oh. Do I not even have... Really now? I'm supposed to be... I'm supposed to have done that? No. Time to mine. Huh. Really? See, because I could have sworn that, uh... I thought, I thought I already had all these. I would already have had all these achievements. I don't know. Achievements must be broken in the snapshot. Or I'm just not doing it right. Either way, it doesn't matter. We have our cooked salmon here. And we have a cobblestone plot that needs to be stuck back in here. Okay. Uh, There's our cooked salmon. It's cooked fish. It looks delicious. I gotta, I gotta have a bite. 
Mm, we have lightly fried fish fillets. Uh, that's an Imgur meme. Maybe you've heard of it if you go to Imgur a lot. But most of you probably don't. But that's okay. I still love you. Uh, no, that's the wrong thing. That's also the wrong thing. I'm pretty sure it's like this. Yeah, that's how you do it. Hmm. That's how you do it. This is... I guess I'll cook up the rest of the... You know, I kind of... You know what I want to do is I kind of want to put these in picture frames. Like my catches and stuff. I think that'd be kind of neat. But anyway... Potion of water breathing. There you go. That's how you do that. Uh, and that'll leave me some... These look... Uh, it's unfortunate that they are blue. Maybe they could have made them yellow like the puffer fish. But... Or yellow with blue swirls or something. Because we already have a lot of... We already have water bottles and... Uh, swiftness potions and I think... Uh, night vision and jump. They're all blue. So... It's a little awkward. Uh, the coloring on these is a little awkward, but that's okay. Uh, potions of water breathing. All right. Well, that's neat. I'm not gonna even. I'm not gonna bother redstoning them yet to make them extend to eight minutes. Because uh, it's okay. Wow! Wow! Unbreaking three. Unbreaking three bow. That's amazing. I'm so happy. I'm so happy about that. Uh, I'll add this to my uh, bows here. Uh, useful. We'll put him in the corner because he's really good. Although. I actually checked this out. I got this off my skeleton grinder. An unbreaking three flame one power. That dropped off a skeleton, as is. I think that's really amazing as well. Uh, definitely going to help me when I go to put together my bow shop. I already have a bunch of uh, neat stuff here. Uh, anyway, I think I'll take a break now. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. This is my very first experience with the 1.7 fishing. Overall, I like it. I think it's pretty cool. Lots of neat stuff. I guess I'll go ahead and cook these. Oh, no, 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 wait. I wanted to I wanted to put the raw ones in a... Uh, no, we need to go in here. Yes, that's where the saddles go. Uh, yeah, overall, I think it's really cool, and I, I kind of want to do more fishing. But obviously, I might do it off camera. I think, actually, you know, if I do discussion episodes in the future, I think doing it while fishing might be really nice. I gotta say... I gotta say, it was very relaxing to just sit there and fish and talk. I really, I really enjoyed that. So, uh, if I want to talk about just a random topic in the future uh, on Minecraft, I will do it while fishing. I think uh, maybe we can go on a fishing trip, like in a boat out in the ocean, and just talk and stuff. It'll be cool. It'll be fun. Uh, so yeah, uh, I do have a question. I'm curious about what do you think the best loot is? from fishing. I'm going to say the best loot are is tied. Name tags and unbreaking 3 uh enchantments. Uh books, I, I suppose books specifically, but obviously unbreaking 3 on a bow is very rare and special. But uh yeah, I'm going to say the best thing from fishing is name tags and the unbreaking 3 tied for first place. So let me know what you guys think. I'm kind of curious. And if there's something even more rare than that, uh, let me know. Because, you know, the wiki's not always right. And it's always cool to hear, you know, first-hand accounts. I think second place for me, personally, is going to be the lily pads. Because they're very valuable when you construct a farm. So you can walk over them and put them on water. I don't believe I have any lily pads here, do I? No, I don't. I'm starting to wonder if I just dis discarded ones I picked up while heading through that swamp. If so, I feel like an idiot. Because they're rare. Com well, figuratively, relatively rare compared to other stuff. Anyway, let me know what you think about that. And I'll see you guys next episode. Thank you very much for watching. I always appreciate you joining me. And until next time, take it easy.